when you're there, you are going to search for Gretchen's Easy Tan. Click on it, and there's your pattern. It also has a yarn listed that you need to make the tan with lots of different color options. You are going to need two contrasting colors of worsted weight yarn. I use Lion Brands Heartland, Acadia, and Mammoth Cave. Size 7 and 8 circular needles and or double pointed needles and a stitch marker. Okay, so get your color A yarn and you make a slip knot. I bring my index finger and thumb in the middle and I twist it. And I grab the yarn that's underneath and I pull it through. Then tighten it on your needle. Now we need to cast on 80 stitches. So this is how I hold it. I put my index finger and thumb in between and then I hold my tails with my other fingers and I spread them apart like this. And then I go over and grab this strand and I go through both of those and then I pull it. Okay, so that's one, two. Let's do it again. Grab it, come over here and go in between those and pull. Three. and pull. Okay? So do this 80 times. Now we spread your stitches all the way across your needles. If they can't go all the way around, then you need a smaller cable. Mine is 16 inches long. If you can't go all the way around, get your double pointed needles. And you can click on this video that will show you how to make a beanie with double pointed needles if you need additional help. we get our stitch marker and put it on your right needle. Now we grab our yarn and do a knit two, purl two rib. So we go from our front to the back and we get our yarn and wrap it around counterclockwise. And then slide it off. And then we do it again. Now we're going to purl, so we put our yarn in the front, and we go from the back to the front. Bring our yarn around counterclockwise, let's do it again. From the back to the front, put it around. Okay, now we want to knit again, so we put our yarn in the back. Go from the front to the back, bring the yarn around, pull it off. Okay, let's do it again. From the front to the back, alright, let's do purl one more time. Bring the yarn in the front, go from the back to the front, pull it off. One more time. So you keep doing this knit two, purl two rib all the way to the end of the round. I wanted to show you how to finish and start a new round. So we did our purl two, knit two. So our last two is purls. Okay, and then we bring our stitch marker over. And we start with our knit. So knit two. 
and then bring our yarn over and purl two. Okay, so we do this for one and a half inches, which is four centimeters. All right, and I'll see you there. Now we need to change to our larger needles. So we unscrew our right needle, and then we screw on our size eight needle. Our left needle is still the smaller size, size 7, okay? And then after we knit this round, then we change this left needle. So get the stitch marker over. For this increased round, we knit one, and then knit front and back. So we knit one, and then with our next stitch, we knit one, and instead of pulling it off, we go and knit it through the back. Okay? And we just keep doing this. Knit one, and then knit in the front, knit to the back. Okay, one more time. Knit one, knit through the front, and go through the back. Okay, do this all the way to the end of the round. Now we need to change this size seven with our size eight needle. All right, now we're working with the chart. In our first round, we use our second color, B. So this is how I attach it. I first put our needle in like we're going to knit, right? Then you make a loop, and then you knit. So we're just going to be knitting for the rest of the time. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to knit with my tail on that one so the yarn stays in place and doesn't come out easily. So from here on out, we're just going to knit, knit, knit. But for our next round, we're going to be changing colors and doing our fair aisle. So excited! This is going to look so good! Okay, so knit this whole round with your second color, B. This is what mine looks like. Round two is A, B, A, B. So we got our dark color, right? And we knit A. And this is B. Okay, and then we grab this one. And see how it just goes over like that and creates a bar? A. B. Okay, so we keep repeating that. Can you grab this one? B A B Okay, so this is how you do round two. Here's a better way to hold both strands of yarn. Okay, now, round three is just your second color, B.
and we don't have to worry about color A because we're not using it at all in this row. So we leave it right here. Now round four, we're going to get our color A and we're just going to knit the whole thing. Now, round five is BABA. -B -A. So we grab our light color B, A, B, A. Okay? Just like this, all the way to the end. All right, now for round six, we're going to do A, 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 B. So we have A, A, A. Okay, now with this, we need to spread out our stitches, not so they aren't close like that. So if they're like this, that's perfect. And then we're going to get this way over here. And go like that. Okay, now we're doing A. 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 B. A. 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 Now we're going to grab our B. And then you'll see our bars just like that. Alright, keep going. This is round 18. If you guys are having a hard time figuring out how to hold the yarn so that it just goes faster and you don't have to pick them up individually, what I do is I get my pinky and I wrap it around like that, okay? And then I pick up the yarn. So I'm doing mostly my color B. So I'm going to pick it up with my pointer finger. So I just get my dark color like that and then do my color B. I just wanted to give you a tip to see if that might help you. I'm starting round 19, which is all color B, but you see how my color A is over here and it's not on the end? So what I'm going to do is have the color A yarn over my color B so it catches it. Do you see that? Okay, and bring my stitch marker over. And then I knit. So this is what mine looks like so far, and I have done the first two rounds of the second chart. So our round three is when we do our first decrease round. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then you'll know how to do the rest of the decrease rounds. All right, so we do B, A, B, a, B, B, A, 
A. Okay, and then we do our B. And then you see that little symbol? So we slip one stitch as if to knit. And then we're going to knit these two together. And now this stitch that we just slipped, we're going to bring it over this stitch. And that is two stitches decrease. And now we finish off the pattern. The B, A, A, B, B, A, B, A. All right, so that's how you do the decrease. So I'm going to show you how to do round four, which isn't an increase round. Okay, so you knit this one B, and you knit the B in the middle, and you knit the last B, and then you do the A, A, A. B, B. A. B. Okay? I am at round 14 and this is what it looks like so far. And it's getting a little too tight. You can either change to double pointed needles so you get your double pointed needle and just start knitting them off from here. So you don't use this needle anymore. You use your double pointed needle and take it off this left needle. Or you can keep these circular needles and do the magic loop method. You don't need your stitch marker anymore if you're doing the magic loop method. To do the magic loop method, you need to transfer your work onto longer cable needles. And you just divide your stitches in half like this. And then you pull your needle off the stitches. And then you grab your yarn. And knit. Okay. So knit all the way to here. Now we flip our yarn over and we put our stitches back on our needle pull your yarn back take my needle off And keep on knitting. All right, so this is how you do the decrease rows with the magic loop method. Yay! Okay, so you need to cut your yarn. So cut your gray one long enough to weave the ends. And then we need to make this yarn a little bit longer so that we can thread the tail through our last 12 stitches.
Okay, so we're just going to pull these off and put them on my needle. And pull it. I'm going to make a knot and then I get my yarn and I put it through the hole so it's on the wrong side and you can't see it. Then I come in here and you have to weave your ends. So I just go through some of these stitches. Okay, and then you cut your yarn and you're done.